Mayor Sean Patterson Howard. Um, and I'm just coming to you with our Commissioner uh, Damani Bush. She's our Commissioner of Public Works to give you an update on the declared state of emergency here in the city of Mount Vernon. So, you know, let me just take a moment to detail the actions that we have done today in addressing the garbage situation. Um, for a while, we know that our fleet of trucks here in the city of Mount Vernon um, have been very old. They're 20 to 25 years old, most of the trucks that we have, uh, and they've been in a state of disrepair for a long time. For a long time, we've been able to hold them together um, through getting pieces and, and bringing them back to life, kind of resuscitating them at the end of the day or the end of the week. Uh, but the only way we were able to do that is because we had parts uh, that our mechanics were able to work with to continue to revive and utilize the trucks. Unfortunately, for the past few months, um, those vendors have not been paid. They cut us off of the parts and we had nothing to continue to work magic with. Uh, and yesterday we received lots of calls from several of our sanitation workers saying the tires were bald, the trucks were sliding, and it, they were having a lot of trouble controlling the vehicles. So we absolutely, without a doubt, had to pull them off the road. Um, so what we did today is we declared a state of emergency here in the city of Mount Vernon and declaring a state of emergency allowed us greater latitude to reach out to our municipal partners around us for some assistance. Um, it also allows us to take emergency action through the city council and the board of estimate to compel the controller to release funds. Um, to take care of these emergency needs, whether it's through the contingency fund or allowing transfers of money to take care of these needs. Uh, we are very, very thankful to our partners uh, in the region for helping us. Today, what happened today over the past few hours has been about executive leadership, has been about regional partnerships, and has been about making sure that we're putting, you know, the pettiness of politics to the side so that we can really, really take care of the people. Um, so first, I, I wanna thank my DPW crew um, for standing with us for the community of Mount Vernon for understanding the challenging situation we find ourselves in. But we wanna thank our Senator Jamal Bailey um, out of the Bronx who worked with us to communicate with uh, Mayor de Blasio in New York City. Uh, New York City will be loaning to us eight sanitation trucks for at least 90 days. And if we have to renew it, we can look at it then, but we will be receiving eight sanitation trucks from New York City Department of Sanitation. So we also wanna thank the Sanitation Commissioner, Ed Grayson, for working with us on that as well. Um, you know, we wanna thank our county legislator, Tyree Woodson Samuels. He was making calls all throughout the region as well. Um, we spoke also with our mayor, Mike Spano, um, just over the border uh, in Yonkers and Mayor Spano, along with his commissioner, Tom Meyer. Uh, we will be working to share some of their vehicles over the next few days um, so that we can pick up some garbage until the eight garbage trucks from New York City arrives. Um, we, like I said, will be working with the city council to pass some legislation. Um, to free up monies to allow us to rent trucks going forward, as well as to ensure that emergency bills in the Department of Public Works, in the fire department and in the police department are being addressed because those are critical public health and safety issues. We um, have already identified monies through the American Rescue Plan going forward that will allow us to purchase um, several million dollars in sanitation trucks, as well as police cars and, and fire equipment and apparatuses. So we're already doing that, but we have to make sure that the controller releases these funds that are already in our coffers here in Mount Vernon. Um, all of this will be done through the proper procurement procedures and working with the city council and the board of estimates. And you know, we really want to thank the community for working with us. We want to thank the community for working with us. We know it's a hot day. We know if you live on the south side, you've put your garbage out. We know our commercial um, and our business district have put their garbage out. And uh, that's never, ever pleasant. But we're asking that you really work with us to spread the word. 
um, as Commissioner Bush is going to come up in a little bit, just to let you know what some of our modified plans are over the next few days to make sure that we are collecting the garbage. Um, and I want to really, really apologize to everyone right now. I want to apologize to the community, to our stakeholders um, for the inaction of our controller. Uh, our controller has money in the coffers here in the city of Mount Vernon through our general fund, not just through American Rescue Plan monies. How do I know that she had money to address some of these bills before today? Because today, after we called for the state of emergency, um, she sent up almost $200,000 in checks. Uh, this money didn't just come into the bank tonight. It came in and it could have been used to really kind of head off where we find ourselves right now. Um, but that really just shows the intent and that this for her is more about politics than protecting the public health and safety of this community. Um, but I wanna just bring this over to our commissioner, Damani Bush at this time, so that he can take us further and explain how we will handle garbage operations for the next few days going forward and ensuring that um, our community stays healthy and safe. So thank you, Commissioner Bush. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, like you said, it's unfortunate that we uh, have reached this point, but these men, you know, they've been working tirelessly over the past year throughout COVID and underneath these conditions. And, you know, it's got to a point where, you know, enough is enough. You know, they've they've risked their lives too much now and not just their lives, their own, the residents as well. So, you know, certain actions have to be taken to, to move the city forward. And this is one of them. So going forward, uh, just for so everybody knows, what we will be doing is tomorrow there, there won't be any pickups because we have to make sure that we arrange the pickups of the trucks from Yonkers. But the South Side collection will take place this Saturday. It'll be South Side collection only. Uh, Saturday from 7.30 to 3.30, we'll be out there making sure that we pick up all the buildings, the wire baskets, and the uh, sanitation collection on the South Side. The normal North Side collection will resume on Tuesday. So tomorrow there will be no pickups at all on the south side. We're going to have to shut everything down to make sure that we arrange the transportation of the trucks. And then we'll resume on Saturday with the collection of the south side. And then we'll go back to normal operations on starting Monday. So we're asking everyone to bear with us. We know it's hot out there. It's, it's a heat wave. You know, we know the garbage is going to you know, build up. But this is the, the situation that we're in. And we're working through it. And I'll give a 100% effort to, to my guys for for standing up, you know, you know, it's been so long that they've been at the bottom of the total pole. And like I say, DPW is one of the, the top five dangerous jobs in America, and they don't get a lot of recognition and, and you know, a lot of assistance. So but I appreciate, uh, I think, uh, Yonkers, New York City for, for helping us out in this time of need. And uh, we're going to continue to fight the fight and get the job done. You're on mute, Madam Man. I also want to say, you know, thank you so much to Mayor Tom Roach of White Plains. I spoke with Mayor Roach earlier. He said they would assist us with tires. And if we needed to bring the trucks that we have up there to see if they can do anything to fix them. I want to thank our, our Mayor Bramson of New Rochelle. When I reached out to him, you know, of course, they didn't have any trucks available to assist us but he gave us some good leads on um, rental companies that we could use to rent equipment in the meantime until we receive our new uh, equipment. And so, you know, everyone was helpful. The county executive, uh, George Latimer, Ken Jenkins, you know, we've been on the phone all day trying to see what was needed um, to address this situation. So as we stated, tomorrow we'll be meeting with the city council in the morning um, to see if we can pass some emergency legislation um, and, and follow that through with the Board of Estimates so that we can move further ahead with the allocations of our American Rescue Plan money, as well as working to compel the controller to pay um, the monies that are owed to our DPW vendors for the um, maintenance of our vehicles, not just our sanitation trucks, but our fire trucks. We have a fire truck out of service because it doesn't have tires. Um, we have 19 police cars right now out of service. DPW is responsible. People don't understand um, the depth of DPW. DPW supports uh, the maintenance of the city's entire fleet. And so when DPW cannot get parts 
um, Mount Vernon comes to a standstill in police, fire, DPW, recreation, um, buildings, department, fire inspectors. And so, Damani, I just want to say thank you. We apologize that on the day you return back from vacation, um, you get hit with a crisis, but look, you left right before the last uh, little hurricane we had. So you, you avoided a crisis and you came back to a crisis. So I think we're, we're at even right now. Um, and, and as he's been said, uh, it's already been said that there will be no garbage pickup tomorrow on the north side. We will pick up the south side on Saturday um, and we will get back to the north side again on Tuesday, you stated. North side pickup will be on Tuesday. So Mount Vernon, thank you so much. Again, uh, we appreciate your patience in this matter. And this was about safety. Um, if we cannot control our trucks when they are traveling through the city, we're putting children, our seniors at risk. Um, we don't want our drivers crashing into cars or to houses or anything of that nature. We wanna make sure that everyone is safe. And that is the ultimate reason um, that we had to pull these vehicles down because when you cannot control and you cannot guarantee the safety of the vehicles, you cannot guarantee the safety of those who are operating them and the community in which they're operating them. And so again, um, just to go back to the beginning, we have declared a state of emergency here in the city of Mount Vernon, a public health and safety crisis. Um, we did have to take down all of our sanitation trucks. We have 14 sanitation trucks. Um, eight were th of them were kind of puttering and sputtering along as they would go up and in and out of service. Um, but we had to take all of those down. Garbage was not collected today. It will not be collected tomorrow, but South Side will be collected on Saturday and North Side will be collected on Tuesday. Um, the state of emergency is going to allow us to have expanded um, powers and opportunities to reach out to our neighbors for assistance, um, as well as working with the city council to, council to compel the controller um, to release emergency funds, as well as funds out of our general account to take care of some of these emergency purchases for tires, for parts, for maintenance, um, for 911 and fire dispatch. Uh, for safety equipment in police and fire, as well as in DPW um, that impact the rest of our community. Uh, the Board of Estimate will also be meeting um, to hopefully move forward the ARP fund allocation um, budget because that will allow us to begin the procurement process for new DPW trucks, as well as police and fire equipment and some other critically needed materials, but we need that money to be released um, and budgeted and accounted for. And then also, again, we just wanna say, um, today has been an incredible exercise in executive leadership, um, regional partnerships, and really rising above petty politics to make sure that the public good and the people are served. So thank you again to our Senator Jamal Bailey um, and our uh, legislator Tyree Woodson -Sam Samuels for working with me um, to reach out to de Blasio in New York City. Um, and Mayor de Blasio and his sanitation commissioner, Grayson, um, will be releasing eight New York City sanitation trucks for us to use. Um, we're gonna have an MOU for at least 90 days so that we can utilize that equipment to get things running back here in Mount Vernon. And in the short term, we've also spoken to um, Commissioner Tom Meyer over in Yonkers and Mayor um, Spano and we will be working with them to share their equipment over the next few days so that we could pick up locally. We you know, wanna just make sure that we're able to pick up locally. So Yonkers is gonna assist us and make sure that we have equipment to pick up on um, Saturday and Tuesday. And longer term over the next 90 days, we'll be working with New York City and having eight sanitation trucks so that we'll be able to at least cover the routes um, we will look to have some of our monies released so that we can maybe get some of the trucks that are ours up and running a little bit, or if not, we still will be able to pick up our garbage um, as long as the community and our men are safe. And that's really um, what the focus is. That's what the focus is. We want to ask everyone, please don't just look at this live, but we're asking you to please let your neighbors know what's going on. Those who may not be on social media, we will send out an email blast 
Um, but and and we will be on Channel 12 and and a few of the other news outlets that will help get some of this information out. But please, if you're receiving this information, please let your neighbors know. If you have neighborhood associations, please send out an email blast to the members of your neighborhood or your tenant associations, your churches, your social clubs, your civic organizations, just to really help get this information out. I'm sure the bad news of the garbage not being collected traveled very fast and we need to allow um, the correction of this challenge to travel just as fast and just as wide so the community knows that there is a response to the crisis. Commissioner Bush, do you want to say anything before we wrap up? Uh, you pretty much wrapped it up, but um, yeah, to the residents, like I said, just bear with us. You know, the, our men are going to continue to fight the good fight and, and, and get through this. You know, it's unfortunate, but we, we're here every day and we're going to continue putting a 100% uh, effort in to get the job done. And uh, like I said, so Saturday will be our South Side collection. And then uh, next week we'll resume our regular pickups and North Side will be picked up on Tuesday. So just bear with us for right now. And like the mayor said, just spread the news though. You know, not everyone is on social media. So tell your neighbors and let them know so they are aware. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Mount Vernon, be well. Have a good evening. And again, thank you everyone for the teamwork and Mount Vernon, thank you for your patience and your understanding. Be blessed, take care.